Trinity Cultural Academy, Coimbatore and NEPAS New India Publishing Agency, New Delhi welcomes you all for this presentation. Today's topic of discussion is Good Seed Quality which comes under the major subject Plant Science and Seed Science and Technology. And this material is prepared by Dr. K. Vanagamudi, formerly Dean Agriculture, TNA Coimbatore, Dean Adi Parashakti Agriculture College, Kalavai, and Professor and Head Seed Science and Technology, TNA Coimbatore. Let us enter into the subject. At the end of this lesson, you shall be able to define seed that we have already seen in the first video and its concept and what are the characteristics of good quality seed and the benefits of use of quality seed and you can able to explain the concept of seed quality and its role in agriculture and what are all the seed goals of seed technology. First we'll, let us see what is seed that this is we have seen in the first video. It is a matured ovule usually develops after fertilization and it also be defined as the embryonic plant in resting stage usually supplied with the food reserves in the cotyledon or endosperm or in perisperm with the protective structure called a seed coat. In a nutshell dry dispersal unit of plant in, and it develops into an in, individual similar to the one that produced it. So far in the previous video we have seen that how seed develops, how fertilization, pollination and embryo, endosperm, how these components are developed that we have seen in the previous videos and what are all the types of dormancy, how to overcome that dormancy and what are all the seed generation systems followed in India and here a seed is developed and that seed is good or bad that is that seed is useful for agriculture or not which seed is good or which seed is bad that and all we are going to discuss in this video and a seed is a living organism embryonic plant dispersal unit the beginning and the end of life and it acts as a carrier of new technology and it is a basic tool for food production and principal means of uh, seed is for higher yield and it act as a medium of rehabilitation and the characteristics of good quality seed the first one is improved variety and the newly developed variety must be truly superior than the existing ones and it must be the latest and best variety suited to the particular area in regard to production potential and other desirable characteristics. The improved seeds should be carrier of uh, all the latest technologies uh, which favors the assured heat. Here in this picture a farmer having a high quality seed which are having a uniform growth and a highly productive grains. And here the local varieties of seed grown in a field shows limited growth and uh, limited grains and the productive is comparatively less compared to the high quality seed. And oh, genetic, in case of genetic purity, a genetic purity of seed refers to a true trueness to type and a genetic purity has direct effect on the ultimate yield. And this uh, classification of seed, a seed generation system is already we have seen in the previous video that breeder seed and nuclear seed has 100% genetic purity and the foundation seed has 99.5% of genetic purity and the certified seed has 99% genetic purity. And here uh, the genetically pure fields are having uniform growth in habit whereas in case of genetically impure field we have short and a long plant it shows a difference in growth habit so this is an example for genetically impure and pure seeds the next one is physical quality it refers to the seed lot 
and the physical composition of the seed lot. Pure seed considered together with the seed germination which is determining the planting value of the seed and it should be free from inert matter and other impurities. This is a um, purity workbook and uh, here we have seen that germination percentage and purity standard for certified seeds of different value, different crops. In case of hybrid maize, the pure seed percentage is 98 percentage. Uh, for this table, this is very lengthy table and here we have only the numerical values. At the end of this video, we have uh, given that the, uh, uh, what do you mean, uh, what, to what to say, short form for this table, later we are see that uh, last one. Now you can go through this table and let us see in later. The next one is seed germination and vigor. It is a physiological quality. It is a seed germination refers to ability of the seed when planted under normal sowing condition to give a normal seedling. And the seed vigor means that the sum total of all the attributes that give effective plant stand in the field. Both of these have profound effect on the ultimate yields and also determining the planting value of the seed. So the seeds have high physiological vigor and stamina. In the first picture, the petrid is showing a high germination percentage as seen and here we have seen only few germinated seeds. Here in case of high vigor seeds, it is growing abruptly and here low vigor seeds are growing slowly. The next one is planting value. It is a real worth of a seed lot for raising a crop. It, it, it means that multiplication of pure seed percentage and germination percentage divided by 100 gives a pure live seed. That is the planting value of seed. The next one is health quality. It refers to the presence or absence of disease organism, insect pest on seeds. The quality of seed lot very much depends on its health and it should be free from designated diseases. And the next important critical factor in maintenance of seed germination and viability during storage and it is the seed moisture and the seed must be dry to a safe moisture content example in case of cereals and millets 12% for moisture pervious container and 10% for moisture impervious containers and um, the long if, if the seed is stored for a long term storage it should be dry to a moisture content of 8% or below or if it is stored for a short term period it is stored at a moisture content of 10 to 13 percentage and the seed should be free from other crop seeds expressed in number per kg and in case of barley the designated inseparable other crop seeds are wheat oats and gram other like uh, other cereal crops in case of oat, wheat, gram and barley. In case of wheat, oats, gram and barley. And the next one is, and the seed should be free from objectionable wheat seeds. That objectionable wheat seeds means it is very difficult to separate from the crop. Then in case of paddy, the objectionable wheat seed is wild paddy. That is Varisa sativa or fatua. In case of wheat, convolvulus arvensis, hirankuri, bendi, it is wild double maskers. Rapeseed and mustard, Arjimon Mexicana. This one is very, very important. It is frequently asked in the exam. And cucurbits, it is wild cucurbits. Bersim, Kaikari, Kaikorum Kaiko, intibus. And Kasturi methi, Meliola species, lettuce. In case it is wild lettuce, Lactuca sativa. This table is very, very important in case of exam point of view. And the seed should have good shape, size, color, etc. according to the specification of the variety and it, should, it possesses a high longevity and shelf life and also it should have a high market value and the crop should be free from designated diseases of particular crop. In case of wheat, the inseparable, I mean it is unavoidable, there is this loose mat, the causal organism is Astilago titisi, sorghum, 
grain smut or kernel smut spasilothika sorghi and uh, go through this table and this table is very very important in exam point of view kindly go through this table if i read uh, it takes more time and uh, nothing to explain here because the scientific name and what is the designated disease is present here let us see move on, uh, let us uh, move on to the next topic that is advantages of quality seed and it saves our money as you need less seed quality seed means high percentage of seed emergence and there will be a minimum of uh, replanting value seedlings will be vigorous and well strong the plant stand is uniform this and all we have already seen plants grow very more quickly and it shows a greater resistance to stress and diseases and it will be uniform and ripening which means more uniformity in a harvested grain it the yield increases by 15 to 20 percent there will be a less mixture and then can mean a high price in the market now what are the roles of seed in agriculture means only the good quality seed will respond to fertilizers and other inputs and um, so the seed forms only a small part of the cultivation total cultivation exp expenses it will pay dividend as heal and the important role of a seed is it act as a carrier of new technology uh, that means that by evolving new high yielding varieties and hybrids their suitable seed management practices will result in increased yield from a unit area of land thereby increasing our food production the next one is it act as a basic tool for secured food supply because of introduction of high yielding varieties and hybrids sufficient requirement of seeds and food grains can be produced thereby import of food grain from foreign countries may be cut out and it act as a principal means to secure crop yield under less favorable production areas and if less favorable areas like um, um, drought condition submerged condition etc the seeds have the ability to tide over it and give normal yield and the final one is it act as a medium for reha rapid rehabilitation of agriculture in case of natural disaster sufficient carryover stock of seed can be preserved to resow during floods and severe drought the next one is goals of seed technology the main aim of seed technology is to increase the agriculture production through the spread of good quality seeds of high yielding varieties and hybrids suitable for the area of production and it can be apply, uh, achieved by the four ways like rapid multiplication to increase the agriculture production through the supply of good quality seeds of high yielding varieties and hybrids developed by the plant breeders the time taken to make the available desired quantities of seeds of high yielding varieties and hybrids to farmers should be considered as a measure of efficiency and adequacy in the development of seed technology in the country and the timely supply of high yielding varieties and hybrids to the farmers in time so that the planting schedule of the farmers is not disturbed and they are able to use the good quality seeds in planting and the next one is assured high quality seed and it is a basic need to obtain the expected dividends from the use of uh, seed high yielding varieties and hybrids this in turn results in increasing food production and the reasonable price for the quality seed should be within the, re within the reach of the average farmer then only the farmer can entire effort of breeder and seed technology will become success and the overview is the good quality seed should have a op optimum weight optimum size and shape good vigorous ability and it should be having a good germinable percentage and it should be physically pure genetically pure and sound in health and it should be free from designated diseases objectionable wheat seeds and uh, other crop seeds etc the in a previous slides we have seen that the physical purity germination percentage and moisture content in a uh, big table that we have uh, shot out here in case of carrot and amaranthus it the physical purity is 95 percent whereas in case of bendy it is 99 percent 
for all other crops is 98 and in case of sorghum, sesame, rapeseed and mustard, jute it is 97%. In case of groundnut, asparagus, spinach and sugar beet it is 96%. So carrot is 95%, bendy 99, groundnut 96, let us uh, go by line 95, carrot is 95, groundnut is 96, then sorghum, sesame, rapeseed and mustard, jute is 97 and all other crops is 98, bendy is 99. This is very important in exam point of view. So kindly go through this, uh, uh, this one or uh, in the table. The next one is germination percentage of crops. Let us uh, go by order. For cotton varieties and hybrids, sunflower, watermelon, other cucurbits, carrot and chilies. The bolded variety crops are very important in exam point of view so that I have bolded. For cotton and chilies it is 60%. For bendy it is 65%. Cauliflower and black gram. For groundnut, soya bean, tomato, onion, radish and brinjal it is 70%. Tomato, brinjal, groundnut, soya bean. The 70%. Hybrid bajra and open pollinated varieties. Red gram, green gram, it is 75%. Then hybrid jova, that is sorghum and varieties. Hybrid sorghum and varieties. Rice, sesame, linseed, it is 80%. The germination percentage of rice is 80%. Whereas in case of wheat, barley, bengal gram, rapeseed and mustard. Mostly rabi crops. Rabi crops. Uh, for remembrance, I am saying wheat, barley, Bengal gram, rapeseed and mustard, it is 85%. Hybrid maize, uh, maize composites and open pollinated varieties having the highest germination percentage of 90%. And in case of moisture content, for cereals 10 to 12%, uh, for paddy it is nearly 13%. And for pulses on oil seeds, it is it should be 8 to 10 percent. For vegetables, it should be low 6 to 8 percent. And the seed should not be uh, dried to a moisture content below 5 percent. So that uh, why? Because it should uh, it may lose its viability and uh, vigor. And uh, it is this is a safe storage moisture for the seed for the growth of a particular crop. Thank you friends. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe our YouTube channel to get the upcoming videos. Thank you.